Tuesday, September the 29th, 2011. And just to let you know that the 40-day, 40-night uh, survival fail uh, of all that good organic food, there is a special. They wanted me to let you know through tomorrow night at close of business. That's through Friday night at close of business. And their uh, special price is regular two thirty nine ninety nine. Their special price per pail two nineteen ninety nine. If you buy three or more, ladies and gentlemen, you can get them for two oh nine ninety nine. And I'm going to tell you, food is going to be the real deal. It's starting to get extremely high priced. Um, I'm telling you, there's with the droughts, the floods, all of the different things going on, ladies and gentlemen. That food worldwide is getting to be a major, major, major problem. And now we have judges in Wisconsin telling you that you can only eat what the state tells you can eat. You cannot eat of your own produce from your own farm or dairy cattle or, or your garden or whatever. You have no right, according to that judge. You have Mayor Bloomberg saying that the highest calling of government is to be the food police, in a sense. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to corner all the food, get you knuckled down under a total emergency situation, and then dole the food out for you. In exchange, if you want to knuckle down to the Lucy's and take the chip, or if you uh, ask any question, then you're immediately killed and taken off as rubbish or as, um, you know, a useless eater. It uh, doesn't make any difference if you were a, you know, a uh, small businessman that in the uh, 90s was doing extremely well or in up until uh, 2001 or 2005, and then you had to go out of business and went bankrupt because the whole thing went uh, topsy-turvy and uh, or, you know, some regulation the government put on you or some, uh, the IRS hits you for some tax deal that turned out to be not true, but you had to go through two, three years of crap and audits and all that, and the legal problems then put you under, or perhaps just a, a school teacher and a uh, uh, and a uh, you know a manager of a store or something like that both lose their jobs pretty soon. The old 401k money, all that money's gone, and uh, now you're a, now a useless eater, you know, and that's the whole idea here, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to go back to this one and two punch thing again. The Cumbre Vieja hitting the East Coast. And then what if they're getting ready to do the New Madrid fault that would then blow that at an eight, nine, ten, whatever it might be, a huge quake in the New Madrid that totally splits the United States and has potential to drain the Great Lakes into the ocean along a huge, wide, new Mississippi River channel that's extremely wide and you need ships to go across it and all the bridges collapse, the inundation of all the farmland, you know, uh, from the Great Lakes on down, you would be uh, large amounts of it, Illinois, Indiana, uh, you would hit uh, on into some of that, you know, Missouri, um, Iowa, uh, you know, on down the line. So what if that's the next punch? Doesn't that then at least mean that you're going to have that? You already have Bernanke and the uh, Federal Reserve. It is definitely uh, fidelity, bravery, integrity, boys. Uh, isn't it illegal for a private organization or corporation to be hacking and spying on people's emails, listening to their phones? Isn't that illegal? And hacking into Facebook accounts and monitoring and doing all of that. Well, as last time I recall, the Federal Reserve banks are private corporations. And even though there is an authorization by Congress of a system and a board of governors, the fact of the matter is, is that Bernanke, as the chairman of the board, or the head of the Fed, operates on behalf of private corporations who issue U.S. currency, who issue uh, Federal Reserve notes in place of lawful and legal tender, <laughs> constitutional money, which should be silver, 
so many grains is a dollar or gold. So why is it you're allowing them to spy on all of the Facebook, all the social pages, all the emails, the telephones, etc., and conduct espionage against the American people when they are not a government institution. Isn't that against the law? I believe it is. Why don't you charge them? They've stated it in public. They've admitted it. Why don't you charge them? Well, you all know why, because y'all working for the Illuminati banksters, and then a whole lot of you are just trying to go lukewarm, you know. And you're going to be on the side of the winners, all that claptrap. So they guarantee you they hit the, uh, as a secondary plan, would hit the New Madrid fault. Huh. This thing is all done. It's all done, son. I'm telling you. And it'll be all done for you tears in government, the military, and in the intel, and the police, those who are the tares who are doing evil and iniquity, and in, by doing so, following Lucifer himself and his plan. Well, it's going to destroy all of your families. You're going to look in the mirror, and you're going to see, you're going to see, oh, it's the undead coming. No, it's righteous people who you have put upon are going to root you out just as easily and uh, show you where your career might end. You know, I remember the web bots talking about a number of years ago how there would be bankers hanging off lamp poles on ropes and they'd leave their bodies there and people would just go by and stick their knives or their dirks in them and twist it a little bit. Well, I can tell you what. What happens when cops like this Deputy Inspector Bologna get about six or eight, ten women, put a little orange fence around them, and why just single them out? Why don't you get some boys and girls, you know, half uh, half queers and this and that and the other? The general crowd in New York, why don't you put them all in the fence if you're going to pepper spray them? No. You came up, put these girls in the fence because you wanted to pepper spray these women and to prove a psychological warfare point that all the women should stay away, you see. But the fact is, Bologna, you know, shame on you. And then your own cops in the video, when you look around, they're saying, what the heck is he doing? Why did he do that? These people ain't doing nothing. They're inside the pen here. Well, what do you think is going to happen there, Bologna, when sometime in one of these demonstrations in your vaunted New York, when somebody starts carrying their own tasers or their own pepper spray or even something more, and as you come against them, they start spraying your officers, tasering your officers, you know, beating your officers down, putting your officers into pens. You ought to get on the side of the people and recognize the fact that there is a right to freedom of speech, petition for redress of grievances, and there is a right to protest peacefully. And that's when you herd the masses. It's when you beat the shit out of them. It's when you do all those things that then it goes hog wild. And cops everywhere, you'd better give it to people or you're not going to survive. You think you will, but you're not. Now, um, this thing with the Iranian ships again and all of that and with Israel. The fact is, is that, you know, Ezekiel 38, I think uh, if you read that again at the beginning, uh, I'll just read that one part right here. Let's see, where is it? I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth all thine army, clothes, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, Gomer and all his bands, that's Germany, Togarma of the north quarters and all his bands. Well, there you go. You got Togarma, you got Turkey, and Israel right now 
facing off against each other and threatening naval warfare and blockades and takeouts of, uh, of um, um, oil and gas drilling operations in the Mediterranean. Now you also have then at the UN the security guards, and people say, oh, this is a stupid little story. UN security men in brawl with Erdogan bodyguards, and apparently the prime minister of Turkey was jostled and rumpled around and, and, uh, and uh, in, in, a, in a melee or a skirmish and where one of the Turkish bodyguards put one of the UN boys into the hospital. And I'm going to tell you what, this whole thing, that is very strange. It's a big-time thing. Do you remember the equivalent, which was also blown off as being, oh, just kind of funny, where President Bush was in, I believe, Chile, you know, and he was going down to make all these deals that the Red Chinese had made a week or two before with all these countries when he was trying to sell his total, you know, uh, you know, NAFTA was going to be SAFTA, South America, and all that stuff, a free trade zone and all that crap. While he went down, the Chinese had already made all the deals for all the raw materials, all the stuff. And do you remember when there was a, some kind of a thing afoot to where uh, President Bush only had one Secret Service man, and he had to fight with the Chilean secret uh, the, or secret police to get his Secret Service man, his bodyguard, through the door into this venue where he's supposedly going to speak, where there was a possible plot against him that was rumored at the time from Chile and in intelligence world that there was a plot to get the uh, the W down there in Chile, and he had to bring his own Social Security man and fight with the uh, security guards of the Chilean uh, government, secret police or military there at that venue. This is the same kind of thing. Now, in the same deal, we have the Israeli Knesset that is uh, uh, supposedly voting to whether they're going to fully annex the West Bank. And let's see, the Knesset, uh, this was dated September 27th, out of Jerusalem, the Knesset will vote on a bill calling for full Israeli annexation of the West Bank. Deputy Speaker Danny Danon uh, announced Tuesday that the Knesset will take up the bill, which he authored at the end of October. Okay, there's a timing key right there, isn't it? The bill also nullifies any financial obligations between Israel and the Palestinian Authority, and any established previous peace agreements, etc., 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 because they believe the Palestinians violated, just like I told you last week, they violated the Oslo Accords. So we're getting ready to go to war. There is more and more things here. In Syria, uh, crowds that are pro-Assad, uh, for the second time now, they've thrown stones at uh, our ambassador's car and tomatoes and, you know, rocked the car uh, pretty good and attacked him in a sense. Uh, so what are you going to do? You know, we had uh, taken our ambassador out of there for quite some time. Obama put one back in on a, uh, you know, a recess appointment uh, when Congress was gone. Still hasn't even been approved, but he's there. But the fact is that's a U.S. ambassador. And he is getting his car stoned and everything. They're not protecting him. And it's, it's right directed from Assad. So the fact is, ladies and gentlemen, you got the other part of the Arab world and the oil world where their break-even price is somewhere about at $90 a barrel on oil. And we're trading at 87 And it's been lower. Do you not think that they're going to go along with something at some point in time when this whole thing goes up? That is the place to watch as well as Europe. Now the fact that the German lower house has voted, you know, they're going to save the day. Well, I'll tell you what, Germany, if Germany does what they're going to do, then they're going to give up their sovereignty over into the uh, European Union, but they're going to try to extract financial promises, and what it does is then gives a new world order power to people like Von Rumpi and people that are just loving little minions of the Illuminati Luciferians. And incidentally, more on the U.S. front here. Um, you know, you've got these drones now. Never forget a face once they get your face. And they've got all these cameras. 
you just look at all these cameras, cameras, cameras. They're tracking 